Hello and welcome to this online music profile. My name is Simon Broughton. I'm Editor-in-Chief of Songline's Music Magazine. This webcast is with Maria Pominowska, someone who's made a career out of reviving archaic instruments and creating something new out of them. Maria, uh, hello. Hello, <laughs> nice to see you. Maria is a very prolific musician. She's done a large number of international collaborations over the years. She's gone into early music and folk music. But I was most struck by a record she made in 2016 called Voice of Suka. Here's a brief clip. That's a fragment of Island from Voice of Suka. I should explain that these instruments are recreations of old instruments. The Suka from Bilgorai in southeast Poland, which had to be recreated from old drawings and descriptions. Then the Plotsk fiddle, recreated from the remains of a 16th century instrument dug up in 1985. Maria, can you explain why you wanted to revive these instruments? Uh, this is difficult to speak only that this is reconstruction because in my opinion this is creating uh, the new tradition, new reality based on the historical sources. So much more than a reconstruction you'd say? I think so. At the start uh, I was sure that uh, neither I nor anyone else uh, would be able to reconstruct with the you know with precision the picture of how the Bugorai Suka uh, was played in the past, uh, because if we deal with the professional instruments, uh, I can say we we have a greater amount of source material. But in the case of folk instruments, the knowledge about this kind of instrument is very limited. We have just the fragment of instruments. I can see behind you on the wall a whole load of folk instruments from various parts of the world, mainly mainly Asia. And these are instruments that you've played or you've worked with musicians who play these things. And these, these have been a part of, of recreating these Polish instruments anew, haven't they? Yes, So uh, because I was experienced uh, in playing Asian instruments like sarangi and uh, also European instruments like Balkan lira, uh, gaduka, Bulgarian gaduka, and uh, Mongolian morin hur. So it helped me to recreate uh, and create as a new the practice of playing, the way of playing Bugurai Suka. Those experiences were really extremely important. Uh, it's quite difficult to define this music, I think, because uh, you could say it's classical music, you could say it's folk music, or maybe it's something else entirely altogether. How, how do you see it? Where does it sit on the, uh, the Polish music scene? The main idea was to play the very typical Polish old instruments, which fall into oblivion, disappear completely, and the uh, together with Andrei Kuczkowski and Vadalik, we recall them to life. Before violin started to be popular in Polish folk music, of course, this kind of instruments, which I reconstructed, were uh, very, very uh, popular all over the country. Uh, so my idea during creating the band was to uh, create the sound of, po of Polish music, of Polish spirit, but using many, many inspiration from other traditional culture from all over the world, especially from Asia. We're going to hear a little bit more from Voice of Suka, a track called Step. Maria, can you introduce that for us briefly? So this is my composition, which I uh, wrote a few years ago, but the main melody I took from Rajasthan, from the north part of India. So this melody uh, fits, 
I think, very well with the Polish uh, instruments. The instruments, these old instruments, um, are played with a special technique, the fingernail technique of uh, stopping the strings. Can you uh, explain that for us or even demonstrate it? So I'm putting my fingers between strings. This is why this neck is so wide. So this is nothing like violin technique where you push the string down on the fingerboard with your finger. Yes, I'm pushing strings with my nails aside. You know, and so I'm jump, jumping from one string to another. So this is a quite difficult uh, technique if we compare with the cello technique or violin technique. Uh, but also it um, uh, it is possible playing fingernail technique to produce uh, very special ornaments and uh, melodic lines difficult for uh, for instruments which not use fingernail technique. We've got some film first of you playing a tune on the Bilgorai Suka, which was recreated from these 19th century drawings. And then the same tune on the Plot's Fiddle, which was recreated after actual 16th century remains were found in Prot. And this sounds almost like a small ensemble play. So Maria, the, you play the same tune on the, the two instruments. Uh, what is that tune that you're, you're playing? This is Chorea uh, Polonica, it means dance. Polish dance from the uh, 17th century. You mentioned earlier the name Andrzej Kuczkowski. Uh, he's an instrument maker who you worked with to recreate playing versions of these instruments. Can you tell me a little bit more about that process of working with him? Yes, so when I, uh, when I met him in 1993, uh, we started to recreate the sound of the instrument because that time the in museum already uh, Bugare Suka and Fit Plotsk Fiddle existed, but nobody was playing. So uh, I ordered bigger size than this in museum uh, for playing. It was my intuition and my choice because I was thinking that the sound will be better. And we spent many days, many nights, many hours discussing the new size of instrument, uh, the number of strings, of course. I made a lot of experiments and some of them were successful, some not, so I just gave up. And uh, finally, uh, together we created you no know, forgotten, forgotten uh, sound, let's say. Can you tell me a little bit more about your group, Voice of Suka? So I gather uh, musicians who are uh, good in playing those instruments. Of course, the, I train them myself because they are my students or graduate from the Krakow Academy of Music. So this is for me a big joy that I could contribute also in this way to, to, to teach young people and now they are a great artist playing with me. think you're doing with your music? Are you taking us on a voyage into the past or rather into the future? 
I think this is combination, as you said, past and future, because I, I really love tradition and I'm searching more than 30 years all over the world, traditional music and traditional instruments. So reconstructing uh, Bugor Aysuka and Plotsk Fiddle, I was thinking how to uh, make them famous all over the world, uh, uh, because I want to show to contemporary audience that Polish music, Polish roots are so wonderful, but at the same time, the old reconstructed instruments uh, are able to play, uh, you know, nowadays on uh, very important stages and they can play as interesting as violin or cello. So this is this combination of future and past. A very good point. Let's end with a little more from Voice of Super. Maria Pomianowska, thank you very, very much. Mm -hmm.